Okay, that should be better. Thank you, Sally, for letting me know there's no sound. I have a run sheet. <laughs> I have a run sheet here of um, the order to um, do things, and I think I forgot to turn the mic on. Yes, looks like I got sound. Yay! Woohoo! Okay, thank you, Heather. Right now, oh, I am wrangling. As I said, I have my laptop here, so I can check what you're getting and the comments on the actual. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Maybe I can do this. Ah, there. And the comments on the actual thing, which I believe, yeah, excellent. And I've got a phone down here so I can look at the comments that people do for the video because I need to keep track. Oh, I need a piece of paper. I need a piece of paper. I didn't get it. Not... Because I need to write down people who do comments and stuff. Um, and and so I had a bigger screen. I've actually got the TV in front with the OBS thing, which I have to click for all the different things like the um, this here in the corner, which is really cool. So I've got to go across so I can actually have a thing in the corner. I'm trying something new. It's just the other camera wouldn't work though. Okay, right. Hi, everyone, and welcome to um, the Facebook Live uh, launch of the ebook of the case of the forgotten letter which is the second of the mrs holmes investigate series <sighs> so first of all in the spirit of reconciliation i acknowledge the traditional custodians of country throughout australia and their connections to the land sea and community and to the ghana people from on who have the land on which i'm broadcasting from today I pay my respect to the elders past and present and extend their respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Very important. Okay, and now because I've got more tech stuff, because I've got, where is, where's the mouse? There's the mouse. Because I've got the TV up there and screen there and screen there, I have to do my mouse between, I have to work out which way the mouse goes to get to the different places. So okay right what i might do is put that there and go onto here like that oh, that's exciting stuff right so um what i was going to do first of all no that's not going to work i am going to have to move the screen <laughs> the, 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 there we go so first of all what i was going to do is uh yeah just bear with me um uh if you have a question uh, leave a comment and I'll try to remember to look down here. But if you can put a Q at the front, I learned that one from Gal Carrigan and a few other places. If you put a Q at the front of your comment, then I know that you've got a question and it's a bit easier for me to see that way. Okay. Um, so I've got a few people. Uh, there's Heather and Sally who are saying things here. Hello. And uh, I'll be giving away some copies ebook copies that what's well, on ebooks of uh the forgotten letter um to everyone who asks a question will actually be in the running for a copy so i'll have to do that at the end i'll do a dice roll or something i haven't got my dice oh there's there's a dice roll thing on here so um and the first person to comment who was heather so heather you're going to get a copy so I was going to say, to start off the giveaways, the first person to make a comment um, gets a copy. And I'll probably do one also for the first person to ask a question later as well. Okay. And at the end, I'll do a draw um, for another one. So there's at least three copies of the book going. All right. So first up, I thought I'd show you a... The book trailer if you haven't seen it there we go it also gives me time to uh, do a bit more wrangling of tech in the background so here we go and hopefully this will work okay because i think i need to turn on the desktop sound there just try this one again
Okay. Right, and hopefully you can still hear me. Thank you, Darren. Okay. Right, okay. So um, I did two versions of that book trailer. I did one for um, TikTok because I'm on TikTok now. I do TikTok stuff because, uh, you know, apparently authors are supposed to, well, because, you know, it, yeah. anyway, <laughs> so I've done one um, in uh, vertical for portrait um, for TikTok and other social media. And I did that one there in um, landscape or horizontal. And that's on my YouTube channel along with um, a lot of other stuff as well. Okay, oh, another thing I should also do is, and there's a question coming up, guys. So, um, I often, uh, not that I really need an excuse to buy a new teacup, but I've actually bought, oh, I'm still in there. That's better. Um, uh, to celebrate uh, the first Mrs. Hudson book, I bought a teacup, and I haven't got it here, but I've bought another teacup, another T2 teacup, this one here, to celebrate the launch of the forgotten letter and because the envelope is blue i got a blue one and i'm just trying to see i had my blue envelope sitting here a second ago and i can't find it now so that just, that's what happens when you're in a hurry so that's what i'm um drinking from today is my little treat to myself and i'm drinking a sam tea today and i've actually got my thermos because i'm probably going to run it oh, excuse me run out so the first question and the first person, um, so yeah, da, 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 da. so the first question of me to you is, what's your favourite drink? So I'll have a look down here and see if anyone actually answers behind behind you. What's behind me? What, oh, the, of course, yes, the blue envelopes behind me. Thank you, David <laughs> and Darren. <laughs> okay, so. The first question was, what is your favourite drink? I'm drinking a Sam today. And everyone's thinking about that because there's no new comments coming up. Oh, here's one. Now that's me. Your blue envelope is behind you and my favourite drink is always coffee. Um, I, I, I love the smell of coffee, but I must admit it leaves a funny aftertaste and makes me um, go a lot. So I don't tend to drink coffee. I tend to drink tea and because um, I need the caffeine. And it's good for my migraines, so. Okay. Yes. Okay. I did actually, I made this specifically for the actual uh, book launch. And I actually, um, because I'm the research nerd I am, I actually researched up how they were folded. Um, so you get your A4 sheet and you fold it you make a mark halfway through and then you fold each end in halfway and then you flip it up yeah i should do a thing on that sometime so i actually folded it the way they folded a letter well, one of the ways they folded a letter in the um 19th century and because i love my little wax seals i put a wax seal on it and that's who the letters to or about i should put that back down there where it was because i put it there on purpose before and then promptly forgot it. And my little thing's gone away. Why is my little thing gone away? I've pressed a button somewhere, didn't I? Try that one back there. Okay. So, tea. Okay. Gin and GT, I assume, is gin and tonic. Good afternoon, NRL. Um, oh, spoilers. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be a few. And I've got a little thing. Hang on. If I remember to do it, I'm going to try to remember to do it. I've got a spoiler thing there and I'll leave it up until I stop talking so you can actually put down the sound when I'm doing a spoiler if you want to so you don't get the spoiler. Okay, so um, we've got, uh, was it? Um, Darren said he liked G GT and uh, who said they liked coffee? I forgot. I've got to go back. This is the thing. Well, I'm by myself. When I did my last one, um, Dear Heart was home, and so he actually monitored the um, comments for me and wrote down who did stuff. So love your hair, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. Um, it's starting to grow out, but um, oh, I've got little blue streaks in there too because, you know, I love purple. Um, da -da -da -da. So who said coffee? I can't see who said coffee. Said coffee. Someone said coffee. 
Anyway. Right. So, yes. So that's um, the first thing. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Um, tea, my tea, I love tea. I love chocolate. So hot chocolates are always nice. Um, Favourite tea depends on my mood. So Heather said coffee. Thank you. So actually, <laughs> thank you, David. That's my dear heart. It looks like he might be going to monitor <laughs> some of them for me and tell me stuff when I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. <clears throat> so, yes, I've done the warning. There will be spoilers. Okay, so the case of the forgotten letter is, as I said, the second story in the series. If you haven't read the first series, now this is where I come across and I start putting up some spoilers. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically quickly go through what happens in book one, ebook one. So this is the spoiler bit. So I'll take the spoiler sign down when I've finished in the spoilers. So you have been warned. Okay, so this story is set in Homes in London, 1891 a few months after the events in the first story, which is Mrs. Hudson Investigates. Um, it's at, uh, after the events of Reichenbach Falls where Holmes fell to his spoiler death. That way you can't read the, the, the lip reading either. Um, of course, people who know Holmes, uh, the Holmes stories, will know that that's what happened in 1891. Um, and they will also know what happened a couple of years later. But if you haven't read the home stuff, I'm not going to spoil that for you. Okay, so go back here. Get rid of the spoilers. So now you can come back if you uh, didn't want the spoilers for the first book. So the forgotten letter. Dr. John Watson is devastated. Mary Watson is worried about her husband's prolonged melancholia and engages Mrs. Hudson's help. Watson needs an adventure, a challenge to prove he can survive Hang on. Oh, it's on the thing. Without his dear friend. Uh, so a favour is call, a mystery concocted, and a plan is afoot. Until a mis misread number, not that letter, uh, go sends it all awry. Now Watson is tracking Moriarty's gang as they both search for the missing letter, which is, yes, behind me. Okay. Right. Um, this is a shorter story like the last one, so it will only be an ebook only. Um, last time I was asked that question, would they be in paperback? Um, maybe down the track when I've got you know several of them, they might get compiled into a paperback. And there are plans. Okay, this is sort of a spoiler, but not really. This is a. I, I have in my many my list of the twenty something things I want to write. Um, I do actually have a. I'm working on and getting ideas together for a full-length Mrs. Hudson novel, but that won't be for a while, so don't hold your breath too much. Okay, so because I like asking questions and because it gives me something to do so I don't sit here like an idiot. idiot. Um, so another question I've got for you and um, yeah, is who is your favourite fictional sleuth? So I like Holmes. I, I must admit, I, I was quite sad when um, Len, Angela Lansbury died because uh, <laughs> Murder, She Wrote has been a bit of a, a guilty pleasure of mine over the years and it's one of those things I sit down and watch when my brain needs to just go into neutral. Um, so, uh, who else? So, Taylor said coffee, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's, there's quite a lot of fictional sleuths. I like, I like Harry Dresden. He's technically a sleuth, sort of. Um, Miss Marple, uh, which is why I created Aunt Agnes, uh, Aunt, Aunt Enid, Enola Holmes. Actually, I'm enjoying Enola Holmes. Um, the, the new one comes out in about three days. Okay, so. Any other one? So no one else has got any fictional sleuths that they like I do actually have a question that will we can talk about a bit more later Darren too so okay you're not very and no one's very not very talkative today Benoit Blanc Blanc sorry Blanc and that's got a second um, movie coming out really soon too which is exciting I did see the trailer 
as um, David will attest to, I watch Knives Out, re-watch Knives Out quite regularly. It's a it's very Agatha Christie-esque type um, story. Yeah. Yes, Heather, I, I, I agree. Um, I went and watched a... Um, Angela Lansbury uh, marathon of a few things, some murder she wrote, um, the old uh, Agatha Christie Death on the Nile. Um, she, she must have had so much fun playing that. And I've actually got Gaslight, um, she's in Gaslight too, and a uh, um, picture of Dorian Gray, the old one, the old way, way, way back when. She was very young then, so they're on my list to watch as well. Veronica Mars, I haven't actually seen that one yet, Sally. I keep looking at it and hearing about it and, and go to look at it and then go, I'll watch that later. So I'm just trying to remember what of the pay for TV that's on. So, okay. Yes, now I've been reminded about Benoit Blanc. I'm going to have to go and watch that again. <laughs> okay, so more about the book. And now my tablet's turned off. Um, I can't show you a paperback copy so I have to sorry I have to sign back in here because I had it ready and waiting and then it went away so this you've probably already seen the bits and pieces this is the cover for the case of the forgotten letter the colors a bit off there it's actually sort of a very reddish um, purple the first one was bluish purple um, as I slowly get more they're going to go through like in a rainbow color change I've got it all planned so that's the case of the forgotten letter and uh, that is okay so you can buy that direct from our website so if you're in australia um you can buy it in australian dollars 99 cents so it's probably going to be cheaper you can actually go straight to my website um, which is karenjcarlisle.com now what i should do i've got a thing for this here no i've done that one Web link so karenjcarlisle.com slash product slash the forgotten the case of the forgotten letter or you can actually go to the, the, my website click on the um shop and then go down to ebooks and it's down in the ebooks there and you can buy it direct from me and that will then get delivered to you via book funnel and then you can choose which format that you want to do, whether you want um, EPUB or PDF or anything like that. And I've just got something popped up on there to remind me something. Um, it is, uh, it goes live technically on the 1st of November, but it goes live US time, 1st of November. So uh, if you go to Books to Read, now I actually have got this all organised, you see, Books to Read um, and you can also go that takes you directly to um, the site where to buy it that will be live tomorrow in the meantime if you go back to um, my website it actually says where you can pre-order still sorry about that um, so us time in us dollars so if you're outside of australia then you can actually follow the links and at the moment it's still available pre-order today on uh smashwords kobo barnes and noble and a few other ones as well um i tried to get it on um amazon again i put it in an extra three weeks earlier this time to try to get it to go through the pre-order on amazon and it still didn't work as far as i know i had a look yesterday and it wasn't there so but it should go up tomorrow um when it's officially available but because of the dollar the uh, the aussie dollar has tanked quite a lot um, compared to the American dollar at the moment. So if you're in Australia and you buy it directly off my website in Australian dollars 99 cents, um, then you won't have to worry about the the different price for if you're going through Amazon or something like that. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, so now I have to get my mouse back onto the third screen. I can hear my hubby laughing all the way over there at work. Okay, so so the original concept uh, for this story, um, this story was originally, it was the follow on from the first story. And this second story was originally published in Where's Holmes 2, uh, which is the Australian absent Sherlock Holmes anthology by Speculate Publishing, which is a Queensland um, group. 
And as I mentioned before, um, last time uh, for the first book, there's not a lot said about Mrs. Hudson in the Arthur Conan Doyle original series. Um, so I love the fact that I can sort of mould her whichever way I want. And that's been done in other shows like Sherlock and um, oh, Mental Blank. There's two other series. <laughs> um, so they've done stuff like that. Um, so in The Forgotten Letter, I've added to my, uh, wh I've widened my Mrs. Hudson's circle of influence, her contacts, um, and you learn a bit more about her as well. And uh, she uses some of those contacts to one elementary thank you. Um, she uses those contacts to one, create the mystery uh, for Holmes to cheer him up, and two, to help protect um, Watson when he goes off on a little side tangent and finds a totally new mystery which they have to then help solve. Yes, I, I do like the Sherlock, Mrs Hudson. Uh, I actually, I, I don't actually haven't seen much of Sherlock. I, I do, don't mind them elementary, Mrs Hudson. I wish they put her in there more. Um, on, I haven't finished elementary. I've got up to think I've got one season to go or one and a half seasons to go or something like that. So um, I didn't know whether I'd like that, but I actually do don't mind that. Okay, okay, du -du -du. right. So okay, so I've got um, the first question to ask. Okay, so. Heather's already got a, a, a copy, which I'll send you information later because uh, she was the first person to comment. And no one's actually asked a question yet. So um, while you're thinking of questions to ask, if you've got some questions to ask, da -da 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 -da, just double checking, elementary, Sally, yep. I'm writing people down as they comment, so you've got a chance at the end. Except um, David... David, my dear heart, who is, is keeping track of stuff, um, probably isn't going to go in the run because that's the sort of bit of, you know. Okay. Um, Heather loves the idea that Mrs. Hodson is more adept at intrigue than you would imagine. Oh, yes, she can pick locks. Um, yeah, that's a spot. She can do all sorts of things. Um, she's led a, in my, in, my work, in my home's world, she's led a very interesting and... Um, complicated life <laughs> i have i have a whole backstory for her how old is your mrs hudson um i don't know probably 40s i don't know just she just is <laughs> she just is um which is still old for the time so uh okay so and i've got another, so another question is i've got do you have a favorite Holmes reimagined story, not by Conan Doyle. Now I know that Darren has already said, I'm pretty certain it's Darren, um, said Enola Holmes. Um, there's there's a few out there now. As I said, there's ele there's Elementary, there's Sherlock, there's Enola uh, Holmes, there's a few more. Um, I've actually got some books. Oh, I should have got them out. Um, I found along the way and um, one of them, uh, is Holmes and Watson uh, Paranormal Investigators. I just can't remember the name of the series. There's a whole heap of really interesting ones. So um, give you a few minutes to think about that one if you've got any question answers. So Red's back here because... Red, Red the Garden Gnome is back here because he's been helping me. Today is the first name of Nano Um and I should be writing. Actually, what's the? No, I didn't put on. I have I have got a pin that says I I should be writing, but this one's just a, a teacup. Um, I've actually for Nano Rhymo this year. I've actually done some semi-plotting and I'm a, mostly a pantser so this is pretty big so I've actually got some stuff I can start with later um okay Narelle says Mercedes Lackey, Mercedes Lackey has a magical Watson and non-magic homes 
I wonder if that's the one I'm thinking of. No. Have they got, uh, like, one's got a blue cover with black all over it? Oh, I should have got the book out. Oh, it's just been one of those mornings I've been sitting there going, please make the tech work, please make the tech work. I'll have to go and look that one up, Narelle, because I do like Mercedes Nucky. I'm actually writing that down. I reckon that might be the series I'm talking about, I think. Because Holmes sort of, if it's the one I think it is, Holmes just sort of gets goes along for the ride and wants to know what's going on and Holmes doesn't, I think. I've only read the one out loud. <laughs> yeah, it was, I, I'm assuming it was good because Mercedes Lucky is usually pretty good. So um, I will have to dig that book out. I actually did some rearranging of some books, and I think. It might be done here. Um, I've actually put most of my Conan Doyle research books because I've got quite a few of them and my um, Sherlock Holmes mostly are here but I can't get into it right now because there's, there's a table in front of it. So, Okay, Warlock Holmes. That's the, that's the one. <laughs> yep, yeah. so, so Warlock Holmes is a series. Is that the series you're thinking about, Morel? Holmes and Russell. Ooh, I'm writing these down because I do love and Russell by Laurie King. I do love a good Holmes adjacent story of the crows. Catherine, thank you. Da oh, hi, Danny. <laughs> of course you'd know some other things. Danny. Catherine Patterson. Okay, so I've got some more books I have to buy and I can hear my dear heart groaning miles away because I just, uh, uh, they're down the end of the table here, I just had a book, a couple of book deliveries and I literally have a pile of books that week that I just purchased this week. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't think Warlock was Mercedes Lackey. Okay, right. Okay. Jago and Lightfoot. Yes, Jago and Lightfoot. Now, hang on. Um, someone said something. Um, Non-book related. Heather. Yes, they are lightsabers on the wall. Um, this is my purple lightsaber, and I think that's a blue one there. But this is my um, uh, oh, I'm having, I'm, I'm, yeah, when I'm like, yeah. So, yeah, I actually managed to get um, it's not. I managed to um, track down a friend of mine had the purple, the official purple um, lightsaber that belongs to not Mace Windu. Anyway, um, it was available. I couldn't afford it at the time when it came out. Um, then it wasn't available, and a friend was getting rid of theirs for a reasonable price, so I got it. So I have my my purple lightsaber and on the wall over there on the opposite side of the room we've got two more lightsabers they're both the build your own ones so um they've got different handles and i think mine's blue and i'm not sure what color dave's is so yes we have lightsabers and all sorts of things my dot my and the tardis over there and the tardis over there and the tardis over there yeah lots of stuff okay right uh jordan okay jago and lightfoot from doctor who i just Yes. I also um, really like um, Madame Vestra, Madame, Madame, Madame Vestra, and um, that I think that would make a good sort of, because they, they could do a really good Holmesian mystery series, I think, um, with all of them. So, yeah. And Mace Window. I was right, Mace Window. There you go. I thought I might have been wrong. Um Darren's put a, what have you done? Okay, Darren's put up a link I'll have a look at later because I'm too scared. It must be so, I'm um, Doctor Who Love with my, oh, Heather, um, Purple Mace Window. Thank you, Darren. Heather, um, when I was four in 1969, um, that was the first time Doctor Who was shown in Queensland on the ABC. Um, and apparently my dad 
um, and sat me down in front of that to watch Doctor Who because he was a big Doctor Who fan. And that was the same year, of course, they sat me in front to, to watch the um, moon landing as well. So um, I I have vague memories of things like the, the Celestial Toy Maker and stuff like that that used to freak me out when I was a kid. Um, so technically I've been watching Doctor Who for 50 three oh my goodness me i'm just taking a moment here to go oh my gosh yes i love doctor who good new didn't mind third i actually might liked 13th if you haven't seen the recent um episode uh, the recent special i won't say what happened because that would be another spoiler oh. and it has been a week or so but i'm still not going to do that but yes i love doctor who and i've got most of them on dvd okay right so I think we've done that question. I was terrified. Was... <laughs> yeah. Um, have you seen, Heather, have you seen there's a book um, that one of my friends wrote a little story in um, Behind the Couch. It's a, a whole lot of different um, essays, I suppose, about Doctor Who. Okay. Okay, another question. What time is it? Yep, okay. Uh, what mystery cross-genres would you like to read? So I'm, I, I'm written um, steampunk, st steampunk, steampunk or gas lamp um, sort of gothic sort of mystery and fantasy mystery. So is there any particular study in Sable? I actually do have a study in Sable. I'm pretty certain I actually bought that one, Mirella. Okay, so okay, so yes, um, yes, I stayed in the room, but behind the couch. Um, so um, I'm not big into horror. Probably the gas lamp ones I did the first series, um, which I'll be talking about more later in the week, not now because this is the book launch. Um. It was a sort of a gas lamp end of steampunk mystery. Um, so, yeah, thriller mysteries. I've um, uh, got a friend who's really into fantasy romance. Um, so is there any particular cross mystery cross genres that you would like to read or not? So... I'll just check. I've got something else over here. What was the next thing I had to do? I'll get rid of that webling layer. I'll just pop those up again. Oh, I keep getting the wrong thing. I can just barely read what's up there. Okay, sci-fi mystery like six weeks. Yeah, there's a whole lot of books I've got to look up on this list. I'm gonna to have to go back on this list later and just check out these books. Um, I actually haven't heard of Mer Lafferty. I'll have to go do that. I am pretty certain we've got a st This is annoying me now because I'm pretty certain we have a study in Sable and I think I know where it is. I think it's in the bookshelf just around the corner. I'll have to at about this high, that, that shoulder height. In the, um, yeah, I think I'll check it. Accidental mystery, historical and romance. Yep, sci-fi. Yep. When I was in grade 12, I wrote a sci-fi comedy. Well, I think it was a comedy. Um, this is like an 82, 1982, and I did it on a little typewriter uh, with a carbon copy. I think I had, yeah, I'm pretty certain it was a carbon copy. And um, it's in a box somewhere in the shed, one of those boxes that, you know, you have these boxes from when you're uni and stuff and you just keep moving them every time you move and they've been stuck in the shed. I don't know whether the termites have got it or whatever. I should go pull that out sometime. So, writing these down. Okay. So, I'm just going to, um, whoops. So, if you've got any questions you want to ask me, and now is the time to ask me, I'll answer almost anything. And I'll just put up the, the links again. So, that one and oh that's right uh, is it that one nope nope <laughs> no questions
questions? No one's got any questions? I do have a backup question that someone else asked me during the week. I thought, oh, I'll answer that on the live. So I've got one of those. I'll do a minute. Um, Joss Whedon fan. He writes sci-fi and mystery element. I love Joss Whedon's writing, but the author is problematical, unfortunately. Um, so I loved Buffy. I liked um, Firefly. Um, I'm just not a fan of the actual person himself. Yeah, a bit like Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling, really. Um, but yes, he does um, write sci-fi with mystery element. What else we got here? Uh, yeah, okay. David says Constantine is sort of horror mystery, and it is sort of. And I actually really love Constantine, and I've heard that there that Keanu Reeves is coming back to do another. Uh, movie um, and I'm hoping that that is um, going to keep going ahead so it's cool okay da, 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 da. right okay so um, I'll just go through the, the tablet still uh, 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 turned around the tablet's still there so this is what the cover looks like when you yeah, can you see that? <coughs> Excuse me. That's what the cover looks like when you are trying to. It's mirrored. It's not mirrored. Sorry, I have to go the other way. Um, okay, so that's what the cover looks like when you go looking for it. And as I said, you can try it, buy it directly from my website, which I'll put the link up again. Where is it? Where is it? There. Um, the books to read link will be hopefully live tomorrow. Um, but as I said, if not, go to the website and you can get them via. If we could do this, hang on. That might be easier if I do. Uh, no. Oh, I'll put that down and you can read it. Um, so you can it will be available at smash words kobo apple books amazon eventually um barnes and noble um if you buy it direct from my website then you'll get it delivered by a book funnel and you can choose it um so you if you want to know a bit more about the series if you go to my website um karenjcarlisle.com uh, there's a drop down um, for books and then you can get under the drop down for books is the there's a page for each of my series so you can go and have a look at that okay what else okay so um what's next okay so that's is that is that long enough for the links just remembered altered carbon cyberpunk sci-fi Season one's a murder mystery. Yeah, a lot of things end up being murder mysteries because murder mysteries, um, particularly cosy ones, are, romance is one probably the biggest genre that's bought and uh, murder mysteries comes a close second. So um, I know that every time I write something off, it ends up being a mystery or a murder mystery or something. Okay, um, so um, what's next? So... Um, Today, as I said, you can get the book from my website tomorrow, uh, well, US time, 1st of November. It should be up on most um, places to buy as a digital ebook. It's a bit of a re repeat. Um, uh, then in a couple of weeks, I'll be at Supernova. Um, so you can actually um, see me there as well if you're in Adelaide. And um, I will have a QR code. So if you want to get there and then I can sign a card or, or something if you want to get something signed as well. I will also have a post-Halloween book bundle. So you've heard that here. Um, I will talk more about that in the week and I might do another live for that. Um, uh, okay, so... Um, one of the questions, someone actually sent me a message uh, during the week saying, what am I publishing next? So I thought I might do that as a question here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. Um, so as I said, in the next week, I'll be announcing my next project on my website and social media with a book cover reveal. 
and I'm working on uh, theoretically today is the first day of NaNoWriMo and I'm working on the second book in Department of Curiosities which is called at the moment Against the Empire and I'm doing that during NaNoWriMo this month. Um, NaNoWriMo is things been around for ages I've done it this is about sixth or seventh year I've done it I think um, which is nominated no national nominated writing month I think that's what it's for um, and you can follow my progress at there is a link here there you go um, so I'm there as Kat Carlisle and you can follow my progress so theoretically you it, it it's a kick in the butt to write 50k words in a month and theoretically that's the length of a novel so it was originally um, like a big write-in for everyone but they're doing it online um, the highest the, the highest number word count I've managed to get myself is thirty seven thousand words. I don't know whether I'll get that done, but um, I have been a bit stuck on Department of Curiosities, and I've actually gone back. Yes, National Novel Writing Month. Thank you, Hanarell. I knew you'd know that. Um, I actually had written a bit for the book, and then I've scrapped it. Um, so now I've actually gone and watched, uh, done a few courses in and watch a few things on plotting and planning and um, I've actually got a rough idea what I'm going to do I think I'm a bit happy with it now so I'll be doing that um, I won't be doing big numbers of words so don't get too excited um, but it is always a good kick in the pants for me to actually get some work done especially if I've had a bit of a, a hiatus or, or I don't like using writer block it's more of a, a mental health thing where I just can't get the words out um so NaNoWriMo is often a big thing for me because it makes me do the stuff and it, once you've worked that muscle a bit and got a few words out then it makes it a lot easier to keep going so um I don't often do the 50,000 words but um it does come in very handy okay so supernova oh oh that's big okay good I can hide behind it so I will be at supernova um, Adelaide Supernova and I'll be in the Artist Alley so if you're in Adelaide you walk in the front door you're at two A's you can go across here up there or just go straight up and I think this is the autograph booth you turn left at the autograph booth and then down here is I think um, Stuart Blair uh, with French and Tintin stuff and then just in here and I'm right there and there's a few other of my friends who are the local um, indie authors there as well um, and be good to see them again so that's what's there um, in the new year there'll be more announcements uh, there's a new ebook not Mrs Hudson something else and of course there'll be updates on my blog and social media um, for Department of Curiosities and probably looking at a late 2023 release for that if all goes well but I do need to get some sensitivity uh, readers so that often will take a little bit longer and I might have to do some rewrites okay oh Heather if you do go to uh, Supernova um, come say hello um, that would be lovely and um, I'm terrible with names so you'll have to go hi I'm Heather I'll go oh yes that's right uh, because yes um, as you probably guessed during this thing I am not so good at names Daniel Kuchik. Yeah. So what's that in reference to Darren? So Darren said Dale, Daniel Grudzik. Gr 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 Is that an author or? Ignore. Okay. Did you do a, do, do a message to the wrong thing? Probably. That's okay. I will ignore that. Okay. Right. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Have I done all my bits and pieces up here? I think I've done all my bits and pieces up here. Yep, okay, right. So now I'm just going to quickly go through and double check. I've got all the people who have asked questions. Has anyone asked a question? No one's asked a question yet. Is it? Yeah. There's an ebook waiting for someone who wants to ask a question. Okay, so what I'll do is while you're thinking of a question to ask me, and it doesn't necessarily have to be about this one, um, but you can, yeah, preferably writing related or doctor related. 
Um, and I'm just going to list down the people who have made comments. Except not you, David. You don't count. Well, you do count, my lovely, but um, that's a bit of nepotism, so you won't go in there. Sally, Sally, Noel. Oh. Okay, right, so it doesn't look like anyone's got any questions for me and I'm just going through my run list and I think I've done everything there. So um, I will, so first of all, Heather gets, hi Heather. Heather, you get a um, ebook copy because you were the first comment. Yes, <laughs> of course you've got a copy, Dave. <laughs> you read it a hundred times. Okay, and okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So do a random ten thing. Click. And okay, so I got seven on the ten sided virtual dice. So, um, so Danny gets a copy, so Danny gets an ebook copy. So. Oh, Narelle asked a question. Oh, you did. Sorry, you did. You asked. So, Narelle, yeah, you're the first one to ask a question, so you get a copy as well. Thank you. This is, the, like I said, thank you, Narelle. I have been doing stuff by myself. As I said, normally um, Dave is here going through and writing these down for me. So um, I'm actually <laughs> quite impressed I've managed to do it myself for this technophobe. It's a big thing. Okay, you're welcome, Danny. Yeah, he says Narelle, good. I know Narelle really likes um Holmesy and stuff too, so so I'm writing you down so I don't forget. So um right, so three copies are for Heather, Danny and Narelle. And you will get I will DM you Thank you, Narelle. <laughs> um I will DM you all um, with the details on how to get it to book funnel there'll be a link and you can go there and I think you've got two weeks to download um, whichever format or all formats if you want um, and if you feel like writing a review when it finally gets on Goodreads or, or whatever um, every author always loves someone who writes a review it's uh, like getting <laughs> blood from a stone getting a review Thank you. Okay, right. Um, and I think I have not forgotten to do anything. Is there anything? I was waiting for the end today to thank you so much for including me in ebook winners. Okay. You're welcome, Heather. And thank you, Narelle. Okay, so thank you, Darren and Danny and Heather and Narelle and Sally. Hello, Sally. And does anyone miss David? And 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 thank you all for popping in. Um, I thought I will put it on the first of November because that way it's out before um, uh, Supernova. And totally forgot that the 31st of October is Halloween and, of course, with America being behind, it is now Halloween there. And, of course, I did it at midday roughly um, on the 1st of November so that people overseas could actually attend if they wanted to as well. And I totally forgot that, you know, they're going to be partying it up over there. So, oh, I'll know that for next time. But, yeah, it's... Yeah, get in at the beginning. November tends to be the beginning of the book launch thing before Christmas. So, okay. So I want to thank everyone for coming and joining in and having a chat. And I'm just quickly going through all my bits and pieces. Right. Da, 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 da. 
And that's it. So again, plug, plug. That's the ebook. It's not moving. How do I? You can show it shows you how often I read ebooks. Actually, this is just doing weird stuff. There we go. So this is a little bit. I don't know if you can actually see this. Depending on which version you get. Oh no, I don't think you. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't think you can see that. That's one of the versions. So the draft to digital goes through to Amazon, and the Smashwords goes everywhere else. So, depending on which version you get. So, okay, thank you. Yes, I'm starting to ramble, so I think it is time. Thank you, Narelle. And it's a cup hold. Oh, it's Melbourne Cup. <laughs> oh, tomorrow's Melbourne Cup, isn't it? Oh, I totally forgot about that too. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. Uh, I th I today's Monday. I thought Melbourne Cup was the Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. <laughs> Well, I better get off then because doesn't it start about 2 o'clock, which means it's going to be starting soon. Um, so thank you to everyone from Melbourne who's popped in to say hello because, you know, if you do the Melbourne Cup, then thank you very much. And all the people from overseas who's popped in to say hello, um, go enjoy your Halloween and stay safe. To everyone else in Australia um, who isn't one of those places, thank you very much for attending, especially those of you who have made your time to pop in during of tea. Yes, nice cup of tea. I do need another cup of tea. Thank you very much. This one's gone cold, I think. Mm. And some chocolate. Um, thank you to everyone else who's uh, come and spent some time in their lunch break probably. And I really, really appreciate that. And I will probably be doing another live maybe during the week or at least announcing a few things um, which are happening next during the week as well, which I've sort of hinted at now. So I can close that one there and I can open that one there. Okay, and now I've got to remember how to finish this. So thank you, everyone. Um, and, yes, I will be going and having a nice cup of tea. And let's, let's see if I can get this everywhere. This keeps it really hot, which is lovely. See if you can see the steam coming off that. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off that. Anyway, thank you, and I will see you later. So bye-bye.